What's going on everybody and welcome to the Occult Gaming Channel with me your host Bellart Wright and welcome back to Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning. We're going to go ahead and continue our journey and we're in a new area, this area we arrived at last time. So we got a couple of things to do here. Our goal today is going to be focused on the main quest. So uh, it looks like we do have more side quests over here. I'm going to go ahead and pick those up. And we'll uh, do those next time. Let me get this uh, hidden log as well. Or probably a pile of rocks. So I hope you guys have been taken care. It's been a couple of days since I last played the game. Almost a week when you really get right down to it. Um, it's technically Thursday. I'm playing this uh, about one o'clock in the morning. This place is called Homestead. So last time I played this was probably on a Friday going on to a Saturday, if not last Thursday. But uh, it's all good. I was able to edit pretty much like the last maybe three or four episodes this week. And uh, those were very long. Um, I haven't edited number 10 yet. And number 10 is the longest one by far. That one's at three hours. So I believe I started that one, but I haven't finished it yet. Let's jump down and get this. So it looks like I've um, decided to start where are this thing I interact with it looks uh, non-threatening so if I walk into it, it it has a you can't just walk through it it has a existence you know I'm not gonna be a dick I'm not gonna um attack it 20 mana that could be jumped We'll take the rest. So it looks like I have um, settled upon a two to three episode a week uh, production schedule for this uh, particular series. Isn't that something I um, thought about doing, but it's something that kind of naturally happened just due to um, how busy I am and how long the episodes take to edit and how long, you know, and, and when I get to record and stuff like that. So you guys can expect two to three episodes per week. Um, I think, I think that's pretty good. Cause I think, um, expecting you guys to watch any more of that. Cause these are pretty long episodes. It's kind of, it's kind of, um, not very smart because if I do two episodes, that's going to typically be four hours at minimum. Uh, if not, if not even more, if not like six hours, five to six hours. And if I do, hopefully I pick the right side. Yep. And if I do three episodes, that's going to be six to nine hours of content. So I need quite a bit of content and uh, due to the way I edit, uh, I think, I think two is good. Two is comfortable. Two is really comfy. I think for, for all of us, two, two is probably going to be comfy. All right. And of course, whenever there's aqua pauses like that, I'm probably burping off, uh, burping on mute because for some reason at this time of night, this is a damn good hammer. I wish I used hammers because this is pretty damn strong. But yeah, for some reason at this time of night, it's just, I don't know. I got to look into that. Uh, two ice. I think I wanted to keep, no, these are scepters. Never mind. And forgive me if I'm like slightly rusty because uh, it's been a almost a week since I last played hood of gouging. I kind of like this kind of like this kind of like this a lot, but I do like the extra 20% health that that gives. So 
Chuck that. Chuck that. Ice damage, mana regen, plus mana. Mm, I'm not really going to use these. These are cool, but I'm not really going to use them. Hardy. It's probably time I chuck the Hardy. Yeah, it's time I chuck these because these are actually going to end up better if I find one more piece of captain's gear. Let's see, Vekreth stuff could end up being really good. Uh, this one. This one's just really good off rip. I probably should be using these by now. I'm using these. No, I'm not. I'm using these. 26. Eh. I like the fact that it has three um, slots, but that's fine. Plus 11 armor, resist, mana regen, poison resistance. I'm just going to put these on. Oh, no wonder <laughs> I can't use these. Hmm. Okay, I'm just keeping around just in case, I guess. I got a ton of ton of this stuff. Even though I put a lot of it up, still got a ton of stuff. Not really. I don't got a lot of stuff there. Okay. All right. It's so easy to get lost in the sauce, man. What? The, how long have I been playing? About almost seven minutes. All right, we'll do, we'll pick this stuff up here. I'll pick up those side quests and we're gonna chug along with the main mission. We'll focus on these um side missions later. Cause I, I did go back and watch a, um, cause I was editing part of it. Uh, I did go back and watch some of uh, the, it was either episode nine or episode eight. I think it was episode nine in which I promised to do the main quest from the start and um, quickly devolved into me spending like an hour and 20 minutes on a side quest. So uh, let me not make that same mistake here. Okay, well, I'm running out of space here. Okay, well. It's just the, all the rocks. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Okay, we're going to take a little side trip. I got so much crap now. I forgot how to fast travel also. So it, I could just teleport to this, uh, teleport to Homestead once I need to get back here. But we're going to take a trip to the Star Camp. to sell a bunch of stuff. So yeah, how have you guys' week been? I hope it's been pretty good. Uh, Christmas is quickly coming up. It's in two days from the day I'm recording this. It's the 23rd today. And um, typically, oh, this guy is SOL. Well, I'm SOL because he's not here. Oh, here he is. He sleeps back here. Cool. Always open for business when the road is your marketplace. So, uh, yeah, I typically don't celebrate Christmas like that. Uh, but this year, I'm actually going to do a little bit of Christmas celebrating. Just because I'm very appreciative of uh, some stuff my friends helped me out with this year. So, I'm very... Very much so in a Christmas spirit because of that. They really helped me out. Because uh, for, for pretty much the history of this channel, um, I've been staying in apartments, various apartments. And uh, I had some pals, really close friends, really, um, that allowed me to stay with them at the start of this year. And um, that really helped me save quite a bit of money and I was able to... Um, to move into a much better place, uh, a house actually. So that was something I appreciate and it allows me to do way more stuff that I want to do and not worry about other people in other apartments. 
Are you looking to buy items or sell them? So I I appreciate having my own space. And because of that, if you need another trade. um it makes me appreciate um you know the pre the people who helped me do that. And I appreciate them for like a lot more than that, but that, you know, that's just one of the things they helped me out with this year. It's the small things, really. It, you know, the small things, the small ways you can help out friends, like, really go a long way. Still could use the help of a clever traveler if you need some coin. Travel, Burke. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Homestead. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really, you know, and I've been doing this thing for the last couple of years where I um, appreciate the small things, quote unquote. And uh, it's been going pretty good, but this year really kind of hits that home. Kind of just appreciating the the small moments and the, the time you get to spend with people, you know. I really do appreciate that stuff. Because as I get older, you know, I spend a lot more time alone. And uh, while I do appreciate my alone time and being able to create things and work on things and do the things I want to do, uh, I really do appreciate when I can get together with uh, the people I really care about and, um, you know, even if we aren't doing much of anything but just hanging out, you know, I really appreciate that stuff. Whatever. Screw that stuff over there. I'm not worried about it. Let's talk to this guy. Inkaneg Hone. There ain't no fish today, stranger. Especially look elsewhere. Ugh, can't even look a fish in the face anymore. Not ever since I met that nymph. What? I'm interested in the nymph. Not much here anymore besides the Etten and myself. We get the occasional traveler, but it's not often. What is an Etten? They're hostile enough normally, but of late it seems like a couple have become struck with divine inspiration. The kind that makes the Etten go to war. If they hmm. keep this up, we might have an Etten war party on our hands. If only someone might take care of those shamans first. So the Etten are a, a subset of Fey, maybe? I've been a fisherman on these shores since I could cast a net. Even the Etten leave me be. Used to be this was Holmes Lake. But I lost my wife Imelda to fever and my nephew abandoned me to go to Dyden Hill. And now I'm just a man content to die in the house my family built here years ago. Hmm. I can remember when I first saw her on the cliff to the south. Overlooking it in there. I saw that watery maiden and I fell in love with her. I've outlived my Imelda. My nephew Thaddeus up and left for Dyden Hill for want of never seeing me again. I had a chance of ending loneliness, but it was taken from me. The beasts of the wild scared her off. We were to wed by my peer, but I ain't seen her for days now. I'd search, but the monsters all ripped me to shreds. You were to wed? What the hell? Is he delusional or what? I bet you could indeed. But that's only half of what's needed. You must also find my bride to be. Then the wedding will be upon us. I have I've got to find the ring. I, I need to find my bear musk. I need to prepare. You best start by the pier. If she's not there, keep heading south. She's bound to be somewhere. Go on. Yeah. I will ready myself for the wedding and then catch up to you. He's uh not delusional, but he's like caught in her spell, isn't he? I've seen a few fine women in my day. Even met a fey woman in Gorhart long ago. But that nymph, she's something else. Her skin's luster, her heaving prow and ample. <laughs> okay, dude. Except for the fishy parts, I mean. But even so, I've fished this lake enough that the form is uh, pleasingly familiar. Sorry about that. <laughs> that. Those, that pop is pretty loud. But yeah, to each their own to meet her at the old pier but the gentle creature got scared by the monsters no doubt i first laid eyes on her from the cliff overlooking the lake to the south i bet if you head south you'll still find her all right Please. we'll do that later and where is the other individual only one head by the mercy of the gods I thought my time had come at last. What? It does not seem to hold much stock in my expedition. But it leaves me alive to see its utter failure. 
through to the end. Fair enough. Might as well just get right to it. I was leading an expedition to recover a pair of Arathi artifacts, known only as Shine and Shadow. I've spent the last decade researching them. Texts say the artifacts are powerful, but what they can do is never explicitly stated. Regardless, the Templars feel it best to place such items under their guard. But the Etin have hit us hard. And it's said that the artifacts are guarded in Dalat by an ancient powerful shaman of their kind. I'm at a loss for what to do. I have not had such good news in some time. My research indicates that the artifacts are somewhere in Dalat. It seems they're now a trophy of the Etin. I can promise you this much. Though my expedition was underprepared, it was not underfinanced. A large reward waits for one who finds the artifacts. Great. Perfect. Um I came here strictly for research purposes. This is not a place many people would come on their own accord. Their impudence seems tied to their devotion. From what I can tell, a small number of prominent shamans are rallying them. If someone had a head on their shoulders and a blade, then toppling those shaman would help pacify the area. Okay. I can't say I know all that much about the old man, other than he's a fisherman here in Ettenmir. He's quite a hospitable man, though. He let me stay here without much question. I'm here from Odessa on business. The rest of my expedition was wiped out by the Etin. My research has tracked them to Delak. There is talk of an ancient guardian. From the looks of this place, it's likely some Etin. Okay. Cool. I guess we can get these uh, logs and things. Oh, that one's hard. Uh, we'll just use the pick. So, um, listening to them talk, I just realized something. It actually makes more sense to not take the quest. I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. Um, so from now on, I'll just, we won't do the quest. We won't take the quest. We won't take the quest until we can actually do them. I'll just hold off on taking the quest entirely until we can actually do them. Cause you get you get all that lore there, all that backstory, and then you won't be following up on that until like hours later. So it just, it makes more sense just to do all of it later. All right, I'm gonna get this stuff I left, which is past this. And I believe our current quest is the main quest, but I could be wrong about that. Yes, it is the main quest. I do want to do this too, I believe. Old friends, new foes, I th is this? I want to get into Issa, and I think that other quest I was just hovering on is the way to get into Issa. But I'm not 100% on that. Okay, cool. Band of Twilight. Oh, look at this. This looks cool. Hmm. I still haven't visited the, uh, the, uh, Warsworn. That's that turtle crab thing. Ooh. They're having a battle over there. Huh, I wonder if I can get there from the other side. 
There's a lot going on over here. Oh, there's a uh, lore stone also. Oh shit. This place isn't exactly easy to navigate. Hmm, okay. Jeez, no, 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 not today, not today, not today. Jeez. Dude, 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 dude. I'm freaking dying here. Can you kill, kill somebody, please? Oh, I'm in the water. Yeah, this was the worst first opponent to fight after a week of not playing. There we go. Okay. Yeah, of course, my friggin' first opponent would be a ball thresh <laughs> of all creatures to fight. Come on, hit, 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 hit. Jeez. Oh, my accuracy is so bad. Hit this thing. Hit this thing <laughs> before he kills you. I'm out of arrows. Four, okay. Jeez. All right, I just, I just wanted to get up here and touch this thing and keep moving. The stuff is trying to kill me, man. that too but i i gotta keep it moving man <laughs> i do i do love the fact that the game always has stuff to do i think that's really cool i think that's honestly really really cool but uh for our purposes and i'm back over in this friggin' area um for our purposes hold on this is the right quest yes so he's over there. Oh, he's getting, he's just getting wrecked. Okay. Gotcha. 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 We got to save him. How the heck do we get over here? We, we can't just climb up here, right? Or can we? Doesn't look like it. We got to go around. You know, I was trying to go around the other way, but it's just so much, so many distractions over there. Oh, jeez. Whoa, I can't even see. Where? Where is it? There it is. There it is. Dude, go go take care of my problems. Don't cower behind me. Oh shit. Let me let me get this ready. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Jeez, that's like half my health bar. Ooh. You know what? Yeah, this this is a little too rough for me. Thank you.
Yeah, you guys are gonna see me spamming that uh fate mode way more frequently. Cause these enemies are getting crazy. Now we got a bunch of them. Probably should have saved that. Couldn't dodge from that? Man. Life is rough. Oh, that thing is useless. Uh oh. That oh the tracking in this game. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. I can't stand the tracking in this game. Whatever. I'm just gonna be getting hit with shit. I can already see that right now. I'm just gonna have to carry like a shit ton of potions on me. Let's see. Am I taking damage over time? Uh, is he run? No, don't leash. Don't leash back. Now when I got like almost all your health down, yeah, I, th I believe he's gonna be healed. Whatever health I took down is probably gonna be healed after that. At least take these wolves out. Okay, no, he didn't heal. Great. Great. on over you handle my business there buddy no oh, shit I thought I could get some maybe some iframes on that attack awesome perfect okay the dodging isn't completely worthless Excuse me, I'm sorry for the mouth sounds. Uh, so I'm gonna have to fight, I believe, two of those things at once, once I get over here. Once I figure out how to get over here. Probably from up here. No, not from up here. So how the heck does one get over there? Over here? So much, so much real estate here. Uh -oh. No. You guys be popping up out of nowhere, man. These camera angles are so amazing.
Oh, okay. I can get there from his bridge here. There's another mission that I'm not going to take, unfortunately. So hopefully the missions don't disappear after a while. That's a corpse. Corpse of a knight. Not today. So simply Thamor, so formidably bloody bones. Once companion to Issa, now enemy. Get out of here. Once lover of era. It's good you're here. Jeez. I was beginning to think you were just something I saw in the bottle. Welcome to the ruins of Della. Why are we here? Because for some reason you can change fate. In here I can get a glimpse of the whole of the wheel and see where you should fit in. I still think you're crazy. This is the place. We'll see soon enough. Deep below us is the theater of fate. Where the immortals taught man, alpha, and gnome to read the destiny of the world. Come with me. Maybe I am crazy, but not about this. It's the ruins of the Theater of Fate. This is where the first Fate Weavers learned how to read the wheel. They left their wisdom behind in the Destiny Stone. I'm hoping that the stone will tell me who you are. Mm, for some reason, my Yeti's picking up a lot of sound. It's really sensitive. So if the sound is weird in this episode, guys, I do apologize. The Yeti is super sensitive right now for some reason. The Theater of Fate was once an Irathi stronghold. Mortals and immortals worked together to build a site of total understanding. Since then, it's been lost, rediscovered, and abandoned all over again. Mortals can't stand the knowledge, and immortals simply don't care. In we go. All right. Okay. Hopefully there's not a lot of stuff inside. If I got like 70 items, I'll go back and, uh, yeah, I got 73. I'm going to go back and sell some stuff. I got to get some, um, I got to get some stuff anyway for some, uh, consumables actually. So 35 lightning and fire. Mm, now, nah, you know what? I'm not really using staffs anyway, so I'm just going to sell two. And as far as Fey Blades go, I don't need any of these. As far as Longbows go, I'm not sure how strong the one I have is. 42, these are 45 with freezing. I think I actually want this one. So I'm going to sell all of those to keep that one. This is technically stronger, but uh, I like mine better. Azure, oh, that's really good, but might, I don't use might at all. This one is better than my robes. Just a little bit better, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Shield of Phasing. Talisman. Both of these are like the same. Oak Buckler. Just keep what I got. You know, the thing with shields on a finesse character, I just realized is you're mainly going to be using the shield. You're not going to be using shield with a finesse character anyway. So if you can get some sort of stat bonuses on it, that's probably the best thing uh, for you. So I'm 
I'm going to be hanging on to that for a nice while. So I did pick up some, uh, some additional items. This is pretty good, a 14% experience bonus, but I do like the bonuses to damage instead. I'll probably put this up back at the, uh, back at my house. And I don't really care for anything that's like damage at night or damage at day. So I'm going to get rid of that. Um, this is okay, but I prefer just flat critical damage. So I'm going to not use that. And I think we're good. The rest of that makes sense to me. We did pick up some additional items. As far as consumables go. I think we're going to be using all of this stuff though, to be honest. Slashing Fury detect damage yeah i think we're gonna be using all this this stuff here i'm gonna see if i can use this in combat to see if it does anything interesting but otherwise i'm gonna start selling those uh everything else is fine i suppose and i don't i don't think i have anything illegal in junk so we could just go sell this uh probably gore heart probably go to gore heart right quick And sell all this stuff. There goes that and some armor, right? Alright. Yeah, I don't like to do so much fast travel. But, um... What can you do? I want to get rich in this game. And buy all types of stuff. We'll go to our old trusted uh, Nana. She should have some pretty good consumables, too. I cannot emphasize the importance of what you've done until you destroyed those shipments, all of Odorath. Okay, still got a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, I'm gonna for sure get that. Gonna for sure get both of these. Um, we're gonna be using all this shit too. Current stopper. That's fine. Flame guard. Uh, we'll, we'll take a lot of these miners. Uh, I'll probably take all ten to be honest. Uh, and four. I'll take four. Uh, we'll take all of these, man. All of this regen stuff, we'll take all of it. What's this do? Mana pool, doesn't really matter that much. Warrior stuff. Total health, not really, that doesn't really matter. She has, she has everything we've ever sold her. She continuously has it, that's cool. I think I will take both of these too, just to have them. All right, back we go. Back we go. What's crazy is I kind of missed the flow of just doing a side mission shit now. I kind of wish we were just out in the field, just going from place to place. But unfortunately, I haven't gotten feedback from you guys as to what you like yet. But I asked that in episodes that I haven't published yet. <laughs> so uh, I'm not sure what you guys uh, prefer. Oh jeez, like right away. Freaking wolves are back. I just show up and there's wolves, like a wolf right in front of me. Alright, into this place we go. So I guess um, what I can talk to you guys about 
are some games that might appear on the channel coming up. Um, and I do also have a second secondary channel that I'm gonna um devote my non-commentary. All right, I'll tell you guys about that in a bit, I guess, because this might be like a uh, story-heavy mission. This place has been abandoned for so long that some fate weavers think it's just a legend. There's enemies up ahead. All right, as long as I got him helping me out, it should be okay. Oh, he's oh shit. He's like Moloch from Mortal Kombat. Yeah, we're gonna need some. I don't know how she misses that. She misses that like consistently. That straight shot blast. Oh, he's dead too. Cool. I'm gonna chalk that up to um, Fate Weaver. Yeah, that's that's one of the more annoying things about the game is the game uses auto aim, and yet you can't really get consistent auto aim half the time. Like I, I miss spells and arrows fairly consistently. Oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. I don't even want to deal with this. Oh my goodness. You know what? We got the consumables for a reason. Let's use them. Um, experience booster, warrior strength. And I think I think we can get by with that. Maybe maybe damage boost just to make this go faster. Whoops, 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 whoops. Oh, let me get the health too. Let's do it. Who are you aiming at? Dodge. No, oh, aim at the guy that's alive, please. Right, I'm gonna have to cash this out early. Hurry. Alright, that's all I can do. Hurry, please. Hurry. Hurry. She she didn't do it, dude. I pressed it three times. What the hell? I'm gonna load that back. Oh man, the combat's starting to annoy me. Combat's really starting to annoy me. Okay, at least she hit the thing that I was aiming at. Now hold on, let me let me look at the controls right quick. I really need to figure out how to aim at the thing that I want to aim at for one. Auto follow gameplay. Uh, controls, please. How do you switch targets? You don't. You don't switch targets. Up is aggressive. What's what's up mean? Get out of here.
Kill the wolf. It's not that hard. Uh, can we get the glowing item? Maybe no. Is this a glitch too? I guess that's a glitch too. Okay. So there was an update. Um, I just got the update today. Is uh one point eleven. So I wonder if that's making stuff a little bit extra janky. But right now it feels really janky. Like I don't I don't even know what to say about it. Okay, this shit here. So this was annoying for so many reasons last time. So the fake gauge is finite, right? So she spent like 10% of, of that portion of me trying to kill those enemies, attacking enemies that were already down. So that annoyed me for one. And then once we did get three, I had enough time to actually just finish the three I had off. But I pressed X so many times and it did not work. I moved into a better position and still it would not work. So that, that was just friggin' stupid, really. All right, let's get the regen going. Uh, I'm gonna want to damage them a little bit more first. Let's see, damage, experience. Warrior strength. I think I think that's good. I should probably do minor healing too. That's fine. That's fine. Actually, let's get the uh, shadow flare. Dodge, please. My dodge is so bad. I'm gonna um. I'm probably gonna change it back to the uh the regular dodge because this one's delayed. Okay, let me uh, let's get another one of these. I think. Awesome. Oh, I killed one. That's fine. Okay, two down. One to go. He's, she's aiming at the wrong one again. Aim at the one that's alive. X, thank you. Oh, this is uh this is the thing, right? Shine and Shadow. These are going to be Twin Blades, I believe. And they're really strong. They are exceptionally strong. We could, we could start doing Twin Blade stuff. Secret Doors. We could also do that. Not high enough level for that. I think detected. I think we're good with that. So I do want to get finesse to uh, 25. So I did check out, um, I did look up to see if this thing got any better than it did. It, it looks like it's pretty much the same until the very last level of it, which for this one's going to be level six. I believe at the very last level, it gets a uh, health drain. So once it gets that, it'll be a little bit more useful for us. So I think what I'll do, because this stuff here is maxed out already. Everything I currently use is maxed out. I'll put one point into this. Let's see. So I want to get this to 25 finesse. So to do that, I will need two points. I'll need a total of seven points. So it's going to be a while before I can get to 25. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Just to get that a little bit stronger. And until then, 
I will let's see, should it be this one or should it be this one? I'm gonna use daggers instead of fey blades. So I'll get one in each. And that'll be that. Ah, I can now do this. Cause I have a 28 in sorcery. See mana speed. I get the blink, which I currently have, and I don't really like that, right? Replaces dodge. I want to get the dodge back. Let's get the dodge back. Plus 35 elemental, plus 22, 10% piercing. Oh, three. I would have to get rid of quite a bit of power though to get the regular dodge back. Guaranteed criticals versus enemies in panic. Mana cost reduction. Hmm. I still don't use a ton of magic. Does this apply to weapons too? Uh, man, I don't know if that's better. That's just, I guess I'll try it out. Whoops. Destiny's right. I'll try it out. Okay, and there's actually more to this place. Oh, and I found a hidden door, I think. I see something on the map that looks like a doorway. Oh, are we Dark Souls now? I think we Dark Souls now. Hold on, hold on, stop. Messing with Agarth. It's somewhere over here. Do I physically hit it? It's here. Uh, my controller is rumbling, but like nothing's happening. My controller is rumbling like right here, but I don't really know what to do. Do I have to? Maybe I gotta mess with it from the other side. My control is like really strongly rumbling. I do want a, a bit of a stronger bow. Doesn't have to be way stronger, but just something a little bit stronger. Excuse me. So this over here is like theater of fate. And that's what he was talking about, right? He was talking about getting to this place called the theater of fate. And where is this? 
Huh. What is this hidden door mechanic? Is there something I'm missing with it? Hold on, let's look at the abilities again. Or was it... Is it under skills? Yeah. Secret doors are displayed on the mini-map and are revealed if you go near them. Are revealed, I guess. I don't exactly know what that means, to be honest. Because that one didn't uh, didn't reveal itself. The theater can show us the whole tapestry of fate laid bare. We can do nothing to change it or prevent its horrors. Well, most of it. Oh. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Aim, lady, aim. Where'd that one go? Did it get blasted into the water? Struggling over there, buddy? That looks like you got... Oh, no, you are struggling. Hiding in a bottle, it's good to see some action again. If only one last time, dude. What the hell? The death flags are strong with this one. Wigging out looks like. Oh man, it's a lot of enemies up ahead. Looks like they're just brownies or probably kobolds, most likely. I don't know. I will see if this does anything. Ow. That cause any sort of distraction? No, it doesn't look like it distracts anybody. It's probably just for stealth. There we go. Hex, yeah. That's fine. That's not fine.
So I think I'm understanding the differences between the dodge mechanics. At least with this one. At least with the blink, I think I'm understanding it a little bit more. I think there is a difference between them, which is why which is why I'm getting my shit pushed in so hard trying to use this uh blink mechanic. Cuz I believe it is different from the uh the previous dodge mechanic. All right, you guys keep them busy, man. Oh, this rogue is, uh, this rogue is doing y'all in. Let's see what we can do about that. I don't know how to step here. I guess it's something only the uh I've seen this this moment. I'm sorry, my friend. This is as far as I can take you. Oh, this is where you you bite it. Let's see if we can change your fate, buddy. Now you might want to back up a little bit, man. Yeah, I can handle. I can handle this kinda. <laughs> I can kind of handle this. Um, let's see, minor health, warrior strength, mana regen. Uh, yeah, all that stuff's great. The ice going. Run! Oh man, I get. X. I think he activated his uh fade or reckoning mode. I didn't activate mine. That was you, dude. Thank you for doing that. It made life a lot easier. I'm still alive. You are. I changed your fate. To... Do you have any idea what you've done? What sort of power you're playing with? I thought I could change his fate. I, I I didn't even know that story wise, but I just assumed that if he took enough, if he took too much damage in that fight, he was gonna die. So I think he can die. I think I want to try this over and see if he can die. Right? You, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna see if he can die. You absorbed everything he was, everything he would do. You changed the weave of destiny itself. Because of you, there are deeds he won't do. Children of his that won't be born. Victims that won't die when they were supposed to. Oh, I'm probably fucking up. He tried to kill us. Is that a problem? I think it is a problem. I think he also tried to kill us. I myself wouldn't ask either one of these questions. But uh, for sake of entertainment. Right now? No, you probably saved both our lives. But there's no way to tell what larger changes you've made in the fate of everyone around you. You are much more dangerous than I thought. We need to get you to the Theater of Fate right away. The Theater of Fate was once an Irathi stronghold. Since then, it's been lost, rediscovered. 
So I guess the invisible door is a quicker way of getting to the theater of fate. Oh, it's five days later, not a full week, but five days later. Okay, I'm gonna just right quick load that back just to see if there was any thing else we could have done there. If there was any other way we could have handled that. I think the only other thing is he would have just died. But still, I think it's worth checking that out. Hiding in a bottle. It's good to see some action again. If only one last time. Aim at these ones. Uh oh, better hurry up. There's two ways into this room. Looks like there is two ways into this room. Garth gets slain. Or at least as far as I can take you. I've seen this. This moment. I'm sorry, my friend. This is as far as I can take you. Good luck. Do you know what? This thing. Ow. Just try harder. Try a little bit harder. Try just 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 a little bit harder, man. You can do it. It's looking like he actually can't die on this part, so this might just be story related. Because if he can die, he's taking a lot of punishment. Yeah, I don't think he can die on this part, actually. 
So, uh, yeah. That's that. And it looks like that door won't open there probably until we kill this thing. Oh, that's a jip. Agroth can't even die on this part. I thought I was actually doing something by saving him. Next, I'm going to see if I can actually bypass this part. Nah. Just give him a couple of more swings. The two, the two, um, what does he say? Too late to escape fate. That's funny to me. Your future is running out. Also funny to me, considering what we're looking at. Okay, so it's not really much of a choice. If there is, uh, I appreciate it if you guys can let me know. But uh, I'm not going to sit here and just let them clobber them all day. You know what, I think I turned up my Yeti microphone. I think that's why it's probably picking up like extra sounds. I think I turned it up because I was recording a different, a different game. So this leads to here. So I assume rooms like this with nothing in them that something's going to pop up whenever I interact with something. Long sword of daybreak. That's pretty strong. 30 mana. Both of these can go. Same with this. Take that. Yeah, I recently recorded some Lost Child. Um, I've recorded the game for the channel before uh, through non-commentary gameplay, but this time I actually played it with some commentary. I think I did change my settings to actually record that particular game. And I probably didn't change them back. the theater of fate oh wow and we've been here before right but from a different angle we came from a different cave from above actually we've oh, we've seen this thing before wow your aim is crazy the tr it's just the tracking man the tracking he like predicted my location before I like it took me two dodges to get to the location that uh, I ended up at but I think I don't think he predicted me I think that shit just tracked me now if he predicted me that that would legitimately be cool but I think he just tracked me Okay, so this is the Theater of Fate, which we could have also accessed through here. Maybe we can come out 
maybe we can go in here and come out over there, which is what above us. So I'm here. Or is it below us? It has to be above us. Let's see. Yes, over here. So it has to be. We came from above, right? To get down here, I believe. So it has to be up there. Up there somewhere. Though this doesn't really look like it makes sense. <laughs> Hold on. Let me actually map this out physically. Okay, actually, no, it does make sense. It's that right there. That's the way over. So I didn't I didn't know we came down that far. That's pretty far down. We fate weavers never fully understood the power of this place. Seems there's a lot we don't understand. Oh. Guards, I should have brought another bottle. <laughs> All right, let's go fight. Me to go into reckoning mode, so I should probably do that. Whoa. These guys don't seem that particularly tough, but I'm still gonna do it. Yeah, for that, I wish you would just start mashing right away. I don't like the, the anticipation for waiting for them to do their animation and then mashing it out. I don't really like that anticipation. found its way to this place of power. Everything about these ruins is dedicated to this room. And at the center of it all is the Destiny Stone. With it, the Fae taught the Fate Weavers the answers to the deepest mysteries of fate. Put your hands on the stone, and maybe we can find answers to your own mysteries. Sure. Uh, we can ask about a bunch more stuff. The Niskaru are hideous creatures of chaos and corruption. They hated the Arathi, but unlike them, the Niskaru still stalk our world. Thankfully, <laughs> they've mostly been driven back from the Feylands. But you still find a few lurking deep underground. Gotcha. So are they some type of fae as well? You know where you stand with a gnome. They're always so focused on their work or research or what have you that they've got no time for lies. Shame, they try to stay out of fights. Much as we could use their help in the war, staying neutral is about the only way they can stay safe. This temple was built by the Arathi, and it's been here as long as recorded history. But the Destiny Stone was made by the first Fate Weavers. The legends say that they drew on ageless wisdom to build the stone. But with our order so scattered now, it hasn't been used in years. Just put your hand on the Destiny Stone. It'll show me where you fit into the tapestry of fate. Receive Codex of Destiny. Another thing to go in my inventory. An ancient stone covered in glowing lines of fey design and pulsing with magical power. The Destiny Stone came apart at your touch. 
And all around you, the tapestry of fate, unweaving itself. And there, at the core, was the Codex of Destiny. The wisdom that the Fae used to help the first Fate Weavers understand the nature of the Weave. Don't you see what this means? No, actually. That I broke your Fate Rock. The world is changing. Yes, yes, it is. And from what I can tell, you're the one changing it. With every breath, you're changing how lives begin and end. The way the Codex of Destiny came to you out of the stone. That's got to mean something, too. But I'll be damned if I can read this thing. That <laughs> means I'm unstoppable. Is it dangerous? These answers are weird. <laughs> as dangerous as an open flame. You could help people or destroy them entirely. When you get involved, there's no grand cosmic plan. Only freedom and all the dangers that come with it. And that means I owe you a... Wait. What's that? Purge the abomination! In the name of God's law! Let's go. Get some Tuatha. Oh, you guys aren't very strong at all. You guys want some... You guys want a challenge? I'm a little bit overpowered for this. But that's because we were stuck in side quest hell forever. Which, uh, you know, I can appreciate that. This is why I love side quests. I think there is a certain beauty in uh, doing side quests. As you can see now, I am the man. So we got our new ally, she's running up. You're not working with the Tawatha. I don't care if you trust me. I'm much more interested in your friend here. Well, she did just shank the Tawatha leader. To me, that's good enough. I'll speak to him right quick, see if he has something new. Guess not. I'm beginning to think that these Tawatha don't like you. Now, why do you think that might be? After all, Someone who can change the fate of the world. Who wouldn't want you? Right. How did they find me? How much did you hear? How did they find me? I'm not sure, but they're very well informed about your location. They came straight here from Diagon Hill, but they're not nearly as interesting as you. Especially now that they're dead. Now it's my turn. Why are you here? Nah. Came to understand my fate. Ha! Knowing the future is for fools. Who reads the end of a book before it's time? Save your attention for the present. Like that codex you found? Our scholars thought those were all gone from the world. But you're just full of surprises. Good luck understanding it. But that's fey knowledge. They don't even have a written language. The stone is simply embedded with what they know. Unseeable to mortals. Let's see, how can I understand it? For something like that, you will need more than just any lore master. In fact, you may want to go straight to the top. Once you deal with these Tuatha, perhaps you should visit the High King in Issa. I'm sure someone as resourceful as you can find their way in. Anyway. Okay. We can't trust her. Never met a Dark Ophar who'd give me a straight answer, even with a sword at their throat. Pleasant company accepted, of course. But she wasn't wrong about that codex. Just be careful doing anything she suggests. Meanwhile, we can't just ignore the Tawatha that are tracking you. We need to do something about them. I do like the fact that he uh, referenced our character's background. Let's see, how can we find them? I don't trust her either. Uh, I don't not trust her. 
I don't trust her and I don't not trust her. She's she's been pretty helpful so far. She said they came through Dyden Hill, didn't she? They don't belong in these lands, so they probably left a trail wide as an Eden's backside. Meet me there and we'll track them down. Maybe we can find out why they're after you. Or at least how they can find you so easily. I've got some final rites to perform before I leave this place. Good luck. Yeah, I got some exploring to do myself. The hunters hunted. So you got anything else to say? Ah, we can actually talk to her. Um, she got a lot to say about a lot of subjects. So uh, strap in, folks. Let's go ahead and talk to her about a bunch of stuff. The gardens of Isa, home of the Summer Fay, once spread from the forests of Dalentoth, across the plains of Arafel, and even through the deserts of Detir. Between the madness of the war and the spread of man, Althar, and Gnome, the Summer Fay lose a little more ground every day. A tragedy for them. Ah, yeah. Man spreads like a disease, unfortunately. The Tuatha are a radical sect of Fae within the Winter Court. Led by Gadflo and his insane rants about their new god, they've taken power and declared war on mortals. They use raw prisoner to enhance their power, and their devotion borders on madness. But the most terrifying thing to the Fae is simply the fact that their siblings have changed so completely. You haven't been around much, have you? The Tuatha have been pressing west from their home in Alabastra. Right now, they're only threatening my people. But if we fall, the Tuatha will turn their eyes to the other mortal races. Hmm. Damn. The Summer Court, or the Seely Fae if you prefer, embody the growth and energy of nature. But they can still be as aloof and uncaring as a brutal summer day. The current High King of the Fae is Tetarian, the wisest of the Summer Court. While Gadflo has undermined the Winter Court, he tries to keep their cycle in balance. The Winter Court, or the Unseely, embrace the destruction and decay of nature. They aren't evil, but they aren't exactly the best of friends. Normally, they share power peacefully with the Summer Court. But since the Tuatha have seized power, there is neither peace nor predictability. Tetarian isn't quite what you'd expect from the High King of Summer. But he hasn't got the arrogance of his cousins or their cheer. Ever since Gad killed the High King of Winter and started the war, Tetarian has become distant and melancholy and blind to the dangers around him. Hmm. We've known for a long time that prisoner crystals allow us to store and focus magical power. The gnomes use it in their grander inventions when they can get it. But we have no idea how Gadflo got a hold of so much of it. It makes his Tuatha the most dangerous army I've ever seen. Mirilin is the oldest living mortal. He remembers the time before even the Fae called these lands home. You should see how they cherish him. He rarely grants an audience to visitors. His tenders say he knows the future as well as the past. It makes him very particular about what he says. So I think we have to um, pursue that neural um, lead we got. The Fae do not have a written language, so their tales are their lifeblood, their history, and their future all in one. The House of Ballads is where they enshrine these legends and celebrate them time and again. I think we will pursue the House of Ballads as well. I think we're going to pursue all of the uh, the faction quest. And also, uh, we're going to pursue the, the main quest. The ones that aren't the DLC quest. That old coward. He may have lived a hundred heroic lives. But he's lost the moment he faces something truly new. Pathetic. A close friend once told me... Strive to be whatever you want to be. Fate might be a lie, but if it isn't, then worrying about it won't change a thing. True. I don't gotta worry about that, though. I'm special. For a long time, they were content to keep to their play of the summer and winter courts. Now we fight Gadflo and the Tuatha for our very existence.
Huh? Now we. What does she mean by that? We are the charmed, the subtle, and the inspired. In happier days, we were the loftiest, the mortal races. We despised open war. But for decades, the Tuatha have been at war with us, pushing into our lands and forcing us to take up arms. So they're like right on the front lines. That codex isn't just a complicated law stone. It seems to tell a tale most Fae don't want to hear. And created by High King Tatarian himself, no less. Interesting. I'm a woman of many talents. And we're all taught that we must use our talents for the greatest good, right? Very interesting. Um, very interested in her character. She has a connection to our character. Uh, quest complete. She has a connection to our character. Uh, seemingly before we died. She's going to be off, isn't she? Seemingly before we died. And she's involved in the current quest line. Um, and in a battle against the Tuatha. So I don't know who she's working for. I got a feeling that it's probably for the uh, the summer court of the Fae. Um, I think she might have just gave that away a little bit. Potent talisman, yeah. Hmm. I still want to use that hidden door, but I don't know how the mechanic works. Oh, cool. It's right ahead of us. So I could just use it here. So I could do that or I could do this. So I can open that up like that or I would have been able to do do it like this. Okay, and that closes it. So I probably could have done it from the other side. Or maybe not. I'm actually not even sure. No, nah, it actually doesn't look like I would have been able to. Oh, these uh, enemies are done. I don't want to fight anymore. Oh, yeah, let's take another look at our quests. So Agarth wants to continue. We do also do have uh, old friends and new foes. These two I'm going to hold off on, and we have our faction quest as well. Actually, King Winston was nearby. I could go do that one. That's not too far away once we get outside. This wolf, man. This wolf is always here. Okay. Let's do... It's just down there. 
So we can actually take the main path down there. See, there is more here. Oh hell. No. Press the wrong button. See, so can you guys? Yes. You know, take take care of it. I'm gonna cheese the hell out of this guy if I can. Haha. -ha. This is great. That's amazing. I love a little bit of cheese, you know. Ah, oh, really? Which way? This way or the other way? Come on. Come on. Oh, man. Fair enough. Oh, well, I won't be able to take both of these things. Plus 30 health, health regen as well. Um, and then we got this too. Let's see, what can I do? I will. Let's see, got some bulls. Like both of those things. Mm, I don't want to get rid of any of my consumables yet. I guess we're just gonna leave this alone. Unless I got something here I can toss. And it looks like I do not. So yeah, we're gonna have to leave that alone. Well, I guess I am once more teleporting. Not emphasize the importance of what you the villagers believe it's haunted. Oh, I didn't, uh, I have a feeling that of course, I didn't. Farewell. These are really cool. I do want to use these actually. Oh, these are really strong. I need to switch up. These do fire and ice? Huh, I don't need these ice ones like, at all. Let's see, 57. Can't use any of this. Paladin stuff. 14% health. Eh, it's better, but it's not like a hell of a lot better. I like the extra stuff I have on here. Studded leather.
Okay. I think that's the best we're gonna do. I don't know if I'll ever take on another apprentice. Not after Cart's betrayal. It just farewell. Yeah, really digging the lore of the game. Really digging the story, too. Like, it's not horribly complex. It's uh, a fairly simple fantasy story so far. But there's enough uh, moving parts for me to keep me interested. So we'll have to come back to get that. You know what, that's one thing I haven't been doing is actually actively looking for better weapons. Uh, in terms of even shopping for them, I haven't really been doing that. I think I will start paying more attention to that sort of thing. I think that's a... Cave, but I could be wrong. It's not showing up on the map. That is a cave. All right, I'm gonna check out this cave. That's probably where the king is. I want to check out this cave though. And what could this be? That's essence of fate. Wow. I didn't know it was a plant. So how the hell do we get over here? There are enemies up ahead. Oh, it's just boggarts. See ya. Ballad's Oratory. Are those enemies right there? Look at what we have here. 
Truthfully, I never expected to see another civilized soul out here in Etmer. Something about the giant hairy monsters must keep people away. Good to meet you. The name is Ray Kildeen, purveyor of fine sagecrafting goods and friend to the House of Ballads. Cool. See what you got first. Bloodthirst. Fifteen percent chance to steal fifteen health. Poison damage. Physical damage. Cool damage at night. Stun duration. Into an armor. Stun duration is cool. I don't exactly know how stun works currently though. That's my only thing with that. And I don't like um, time of day effects. I've been out here for weeks. Getting in is the easy part. It's getting back out that will get you killed. Lucky for me, Wenson and his friends have their oratory out here. Whatever an oratory is, they've never let me inside. Hmm. Sure, Wenson and me are close friends, like brothers. He doesn't mind at all if I camp outside the oratory here. Just so long as I clean up my mess. Apparently he's a legendary knight of the House of Ballads, its ruler. But I've never seen him slay anything. He doesn't even own a crown. I don't call any one village or city home. No, I'm a wanderer by nature. A merchant by trade. Most people just assume it's because I'm a restless spirit. Actually, it's because my wife wants me dead. What? If the two of you ever meet, don't tell her you found me. Please. She's terrifying. Uh, this character is very odd. It's a mystery to me. They come and go, but none of them ever pay me much mind. A while back, one of them dropped something in passing. They called it a cairn. I had it in my possession for one glorious night before they pried it from my grip. Okay. Magic, I suppose. They don't seem to do much of anything on their own. I heard Wenson mention something about an echo stone, but I don't know what that is. Sounds like trouble to me. Yeah, very odd character. The root golem. Cool, so this is just one room. That works for me. These are root golem. These gotta be root golem. Oh, I thought this was a flower. Hello, I'm Lady Olaine. What do I call you? I prefer names to titles. Sometimes we here at the House of Ballads can get a little caught up in the veneration. Of course, you're sacral now, as it should be. Welcome. Sacral, what? I have not met one myself. But there is word that Tuatha have been glimpsed in the shadows of Western Dalantar. Our kind survives by the grace of nature. There is nothing natural about the Tuatha. When the roots are poisoned, the fruit spoils on the vine. Mm. But call me Olaine. The others will never call me anything but Lady Olaine, Knight of the Golden Knot, Destroyer of Sreng, and Keeper of the Fenian Cycle. I won a seat in the House of Ballads many seasons ago. Back then I was lost, and I desired a new telling, one with meaning. Your kind might call it a purpose. He is an incredible creature, unique in every way. No other fey hero has grasped the imagination of our people like he has. No one knows why it is happening, not even Hallam the White. Yet every day we can feel it, like a shiver of coming autumn, a deadly frost on the morning air. Me. I believe it is due to what the Tuatha have wrought with their flames of war. The world burns. None of us can escape the cleansing fire. Mortals have kingdoms and tribes and nations. We Fae are connected to one another by a deeper understanding. 
a magic from which we've all been born. The Court of Summer is a circle of elders that, for lack of a better word, governs our kind. may seem silly to outsiders, but the Court of Enchantments has become very meaningful to the Fae of the Summer Court. Our songs live on despite the decline in magic. Faymor was no friend to his kind even before he was cursed. It is good that Ferrara's lot in the telling is to end the fiend's days. He deserves it. All right. Echo Stone. Um, probably shouldn't use that before talking to uh, Winston there. This house of Bella's Echo Stone does not respond to your attempt to interact with it. Perhaps it has something to do with the large spherical slots found on the front of the relic. It appears that another magical item is needed to make the Echo Stone function. Fair enough. And this is Queen Bellmaid. Welcome, Lady Sagro. May I congratulate you on your victory in Gorgua? I am Queen Bellmaid, love of King Winston and Grand Lady of the House of Ballads. Oh, is it because um, are we doing are we doing Sagrath? Was that whose story we took over was Sagrell's? I forgot. It's been so long ago. This realm is at the mercy of cycles, of seasons, and the role of the Fae is no different. The telling is the ongoing story in which we all play an integral part. It is difficult to see from its current condition, but the oratory was once the finest venue for performances of the Summer Court canon. The voices still linger. We regaled many a king under the oratory's grand canopy, but those seasons have passed. Our time has passed. I do not speak of my exploits, unless to warn against the pride that engulfs all who celebrate the telling. We are symbols of a greater truth, not the truth itself. I am best known for my infiltration of the Maid of Windermere's kingdom beyond the hills. It was I who shattered her ambitions to topple the Summer Court. She is our nemesis. The villain we in the House of Ballads are destined to thwart through all the seasons of the telling. If there is trouble, the Maid is at its origin. Okay. He represents all that is pure and just in the Summer Court. He is the vibrancy of life, what the Winter Court has always sought to darken with its decaying ways. It is likely that you do not understand our need for continuity, our desire to repeat the past for the good of the coming future. I actually kind of get that. Your drive to create a bloodline. There's no difference. The House of Ballads is our family tree. It is the sire we look to for wisdom. I, I kind of get their whole repeating, repeating um, stories from the past. We naturally do that now, but just in different ways. Um, hmm. I don't really got time to really go into that in, in, into any depth, but it's a really cool concept and I, I get why they do it. The Fae of the East are not our enemies. We count them among our kind. At least we did. Times change. That is such a mortal thing to say. Okay. Yeah, you kind of have to repeat various processes. Because uh, cause the thing is... I don't know about them because their culture is long live it, but for us, we, we often repeat the same things over and over because there's a new generation that hasn't experienced that particular thing yet. Um, you can read about it in the past in a history book, but it's, it's different with people. Like we have to, a lot of us have to experience things in order to, um, some, some people, the more hard headed of us, uh, they have to experience things for themselves in order to actually understand why to do or not to do something. 
it's not the best way to learn, especially when you've seen something already happen in the past and you've seen the consequences of it. But I know plenty of people who um, who learn simply by making their own mistakes to, to a certain degree. I'm like that, too. Like, I have to make my own mistakes for me to truly grasp something. But to a, to a different degree, I can look at the past and I do look at the past for so I know things uh, to do and things not to do. So that's a fascinating topic. I could probably talk about that for a while, but let's uh, go ahead and talk to the king. And by the way, I'm going to go ahead and do another three hour episode. I just uh, decided to do that in the last two or three minutes. So this one will be a little bit extended. So again, um, I haven't got you guys' feedback yet, but go ahead and let me know if you guys prefer uh, the longer format episodes. Let me know if you guys like the uh, two hour three hour or just a plain old one hour episode which um we haven't done a one hour episode with this series yet but um i'm not afraid to change the format if uh if you guys prefer it that way so just let me know and we'll do it that way when hallam told me a mortal had taken the open seat i did not believe him but here you stand before me impressive it is a pity about Sadie. A grand hero. But there's not time to raise the king's token in his honor. We need every hand carrying a sword for the coming battle. We've come to aid Sir Ferrara, our brother in the court of enchantments. It is time for his telling of the Ballad of Bloody Bones. All right, let's do it. Few know the truth of the House of Ballads, that we are not the actual heroes of myth. Those knights have gone. Passing into the cycle, or moving on to nobler adventures. However, it is our wish for the great songs to endure, that seasons of Fae would sing them before the fires. True power is in returning to what matters. So the House of Ballads was established, and worthy warriors were found to act in the roles of Wensum, Belmaid, and the others. Gotcha. To tell these tales is a great honor. That makes sense now. Um, these aren't they aren't necessarily re the reincarnations of these people, but they are simply fulfilling that role in the same way an actor fulfills the role of, say, Sherlock Holmes or even an actor would fulfill the role of a historic person. Say, um, who was that that played Abraham Lincoln? Was that uh, was that Daniel Day Lewis? I forget. I forget who played Abraham Lincoln. Um, anyway, people who play historic figures, you can kind of think of them in the same token. We honestly, um, we do that ourselves when we do recreate um, historical events or we we um, simply recreate fictional events. We uh, we put this story on so people can take lessons from it and apply that to whatever it's, it's entertainment. But there's always a plethora of lessons to be found in all these various recreations or, you know, um, things like that. He is one who prefers action to discussion. A tempestuous firebrand who would rather pursue the mortal flesh than any other of life's mysteries. That is why his ballad is such a stirring one. Ferrara will always be the lovable rogue who finally chooses another over himself. Timeless is what it is. Mm. It is an amulet worn by all King Wensons in the telling. I wear it. As have all the kings who rose and fell at the mercy of the seasons. Only he who wears the king's token is worthy of walking in Wenson's stead, of singing the most important songs of the summer court. There is no need to kneel. Honestly, I wish I could do away with all this king nonsense altogether. The tragedy we face, it is not legend. It is real. It is now. Yes. I am the acting Wenson, but the true king has been gone for many seasons. I am the fifth such fay to hold the title, and at times like this, I wish I did not. Mm. I do not speak of magic with a knowing tongue, but I do know that the persistence of fay songs is eternally linked to the enchanted lore stones in which they exist. When mortals began to use magic to create change and even destroy their own lore stones it was decided that the ballads of the summer court needed better protection the cairns are a new kind of lore stone 
Hallam's way of keeping outside influence from affecting our stories, from corrupting them as the days pass and seasons transpire. Gotcha. No I more time. I speak of magic with a knowing tongue, but I do know that the persistence of when mortals began to use magic to create, change, and even destroy their own. The Cairns are a new kind of lore stone. Like all other Fae in the Western lands, I am a subject of the Court of Summer, our wise council of elders. They are responsible for the well-being of our kind. We are legendary champions of the telling, brought together for the purpose of ensuring Summer Court glory for seasons to come. It is a ballad of obsession and sacrifice, one of the Summer's oldest. Bloody Bones was not always as a terror. No, he was once called Faymore, a counselor to Isa himself. Sadly, he was driven by lust and by his need to possess whatever he desired. Taking Lord Isa's lover, he fled with her to his hollow of Udua. When the maiden was rescued, Isa cursed Faymore. He could not die, and his soul would never enter the great cycle. He became an abomination, known only as Bloody Bones. Every few seasons, Bloody would emerge and steal away a maiden to make his bride. That is, until he took the beloved of Sir Ferrara. Gotcha. Ferrara went in pursuit of his nemesis, for Bloody Bones has emerged, poised to abduct a maiden to be his mistress. So goes his song. You will need to revive Ferrara after the battle. I can only assume Hallam would not have sent you unprepared for this task. Go to Ferrara, and quickly. When the two of you finish, I will await you at the House of Ballads in the north. Do be careful, Sadly. I like how me, a non fay has entitled, has uh, inherited the title of a fay. The name, I guess. Uduath is northwest, on the shores of Ettenmere. It is sealed by a powerful spell, but Bloody's magic is weak. You should be able to gain entrance. All right. Let us do it. As Palpatine would say. I'm actually really excited. It's kind of different though. I have a different energy playing now that I'm doing main story missions. Because before it was so manic, it was so like, you know, like, oh, you know, I'm doing a mission. Now there's three other missions. Now, <laughs> now there's tasks and other stuff to do. But now it's just so focused, you know, definitely a different sort of energy. I don't really know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Right now, I'm very uh, ambivalent towards it. All right, set that waypoint. I guess I don't really need to set a waypoint. So is there anything nearby to teleport to? Yes, homestead. Also though, also I was thinking about one of these other quests. Ardweth. Shivering Keep. And where is this one, by the way? Ah, okay. This is also in Homestead, so I'm glad I did that. Whoa, somebody broke the, uh, somebody's going crazy over there. What the heck was that? Hmm, do I want to return those? Cause those are some really good daggers, man. Look how good these daggers are. What's 
things are really good. a shine and shadow i was sent to recover artifacts of importance not simple weapons the templars are going to think they're fool the hell cm punk turn to them with these if you don't want them i'll take them there's like to be more dignity in returning empty-handed rather than bringing back such a small trinket if you want them they're yours and i suppose i promise compensation in return for your service I can't say I'm happy about it, but here's your coin. Now, leave me be. Now that's what I call a win-win situation. I had expected that they might be something like a miniature sun, a battery, which held an intense magical reservoir. The Scolia Arcana had theorized about these kinds of objects, but I thought, I hoped the gnomes might have discovered them first. My business is done here. I'm getting out of this horrible place and traveling back to Odessa. <laughs> this place is pretty bad. Their impudence seems tied to their devotion. From what I can tell, a small number of prominent shamans are rallying them. If someone had a head on their shoulders and a blade, then toppling those shaman would help pacify the area. I might do that. I'm thinking about it. I'm off to Odessa to bring them the sad news of the expedition. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Hmm. Let's see. If it's not too far away, I might do that one. But which one is it? This thing? Clear the pier? That's it? Oh, that's it? Yeah, I can do that. I wish you could just jump from anywhere. Come on over, wolves. That is fine, buddy. Come on over, guys. Straight ahead. Okay, now I gotta find his uh, his bride. Oh shit! Is she dead? I thought I was doing the ice trap. That was actually my fault. What the hell? Where are you? There she is, my lovely bride. I am all dressed and prepared for our wedding. Thank you, stranger. Bless you. What? You don't mind. I'm going to seal my bond with a ring and a kiss. Any last words for a crusty bachelor? Uh, I I don't see enough. My nymph, she just fouled that disgusting etching with a glance. <laughs> Beauty kills even the beast, so they say. What the hell? I see her wiggle away to the cliff overlooking the lake. It's where we first met, you know. A grand spot for our union. Well, friend, if there's nothing else, I'm off. You're welcome to witness the event if you care to. I don't know what's going on, dude. Is your funeral? I killed that Etten. He is delusional. Isn't that what I said when I first met him? Wait a moment. That's no nymph. That's not the 
graceful creature I fell in love with. What? Good enough to go along with an old man's wishes. Might I ask one more of you? I want you to kill that beast. To preserve the memory of my bride. And I'll see you rewarded if you do. What beast? I'd rather not talk about it, stranger. My personal failings tend to make me upset. What is going on? <laughs> so he's just... What has he been saying this whole time? Is he just delusional? And if he's that delusional, there's no way my words just snapped him out of it all of a sudden. You've seen the chaos and destruction that thing has caused. It's a demon of the waters. Not only that, but... Uh, uh, do you think I ever loved that thing? It's shameful. Please, it burdens my old heart. I'll reward you for the work. I promise you that much. Do you see it gone? Um, I don't know what he's talking about, but suppose we can at least try. Kill the nymph. So he thought, he briefly thought I was the nymph. For whatever the fuck reason. Uh, pardon my French. Yeah, he, he really thought I was the nymph. Oh, this thing. Gotcha. So I wonder if this thing actually cast like a spell on him. You gotta go, lady. So this was the thing. This was the creature. Such antipathy between them, Ferrara and Faymore. Ferrara filled with life in bloom, and the bloody bones with rot and scorn. How terrible is their grapple when they both meet their end. Yeah, this even even though I know the details of the quest now, this quest is still strange as hell. I still don't know what the hell is going on with this quest. That, that's the end of that then. I'm sorry for roping you into such a task, stranger. It's just you see enough sadness in your life and you see chances for happiness wherever you look. Now for your reward. Take my wedding ring. Based on an elder's memory long enough, seems fair I give up what hasn't been taken. So is that like just blood on his face? I guess that's blood on his face. Did you? What of Amelda's has been taken? Seems fair I give up what hasn't been taken. Wait, there's something. There's a lot going on with this quest, dude. I think that's blood on his face. He said something about his nephew in uh, Diding Hill. If I talked to him previously, um, I don't remember. Not much here anymore besides the Etim and myself. We get the occasional traveler, but it's not often. This guy's going through it, man. They're hostile enough normally. But of late, it seems like a couple have become struck with divine inspiration. The kind that makes the Etim go to war. If they keep this up, we might have an Etin war party on our hands. Only someone might take care of those shamans first. I've been a fisherman on these shores since I could cast a net. Even the Etin leave me be. Used to be this was the Holmes Lake. But I lost my wife and elder to fever, and my nephew abandoned me to go to Dyden Hill. Lost his wife to fever. I'm content to die in the house my family built here years ago. All right, let's let's see what the hell is going on with this guy. It ain't much. Just a small charm that she had when we were wed. When fever took her, I mounted it on her grave. And then one of those two-headed bastards pried it off, carried it to the lake, giggling like a pair of fools. <laughs> there follow the beasts there. But if you... Ah, well, you've helped me enough. Yeah, let's, I can get that for you, man. It's probably not too far from here. You're a kind soul indeed. The Etten took to the shore as soon as I saw him. He's somewhere on the lake's edge, I'm sure of it. Now, I'm not sure if he always had the 
the blood on his face? And if he did, I guess I thought it was some sort of paint, some sort of, uh, I don't know, I got some sort of paint. But now, I don't know. I got to go back and look at the video to see if he always had this on his face. One of those Etim took it and headed south along the shore. There's some word on this lake. I know that much. All right. Cool. You, you be safe, buddy. You be safe, buddy. I am. Um, I still don't really understand what the hell he's going through. Let's see, where are they? On the other side. I can probably run through here. Looks like I got some uh some company coming up. Which, uh, I can handle that. Or maybe not. Let's see. Yeah, oh, you missed. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna need some space to dodge. I can't see. There we go. There we go. tough jeez all right all right all right all right all right all right just just that tracking man they're tracking is so good get out of here get out of here all of you get out of here Did we, did we kill it? Nah. Okay. All right. Whatever. I don't care. Camera. Can you camera get off the wolf camera? <laughs> Oi. Oh man. There's more stuff over here. See if we can grab this and leave. So this is a dungeon, I imagine. Helix camp. Who mentioned Helix? Helix is a name that's kind of sort of familiar. Someone recently mentioned the name Helix. walking that's the thing is walking this this guy here come on down you idiot come on home in on us no you want to Come 
small charm typically used by Varani to mark their graves for, of their loved ones. Great. Probably just teleport to him, right? Not bad. We got about 40 minutes left. And I think after this we'll do, we'll, we'll still be doing the House of Ballots mission. This went a little bit longer than I thought it would, but it wasn't too bad. You found it after all. For the Moga's sake, I'm glad you didn't leave it with that monster. But I have a few coins left to my name, and you can take them. And the bed's free for your use whenever you care for it. Hey, thank you, man. That I appreciate. Guess he's okay now. I'm I'm a little bit confused as to if the um that creature actually hypnotized him or something like that, or if the whole thing was just his own delusion. I think that's the main thing I'm confused about. Cause him being delusional that, that makes sense to me, because you know he just he just went a little insane, I guess. But nothing else really made sense to me. Right, and even though that nice man just paid us a heap of cash, I'm still gonna rob him blind. And break his stuff. Okay, Agarth. Find Sir Ferrara. And he is definitely nearby. Whoa. Oh, I can't jump off of that. I don't really care for how specific that is. Okay, cool. So there's gonna be a dungeon up here. Well, you guys can come on over. Oh man. Whoa, okay. Awesome. That's exactly how I wanted that to go. Got room enough for 15 more items. Let's go. Let's go. So we're just gonna have to be smart about what we pick up here. Actually, what's the, oh, this is new. Idolize. Uh oh. Oh, well, 
Let's just go right in. Let's see if we can save him. A mortal? Is this Winston's idea of humor? Well, you look hardy enough. Won't botch the tale of bloody bones too badly, I suppose. Still, I'm curious as to how Hallam expects you to bring me back from the edge of the great cycle. But that's his problem, not mine. It kind of is your problem, I would think. A close companion he was. A true brother in your mortal understanding of the word. I trusted him. I had to. As he played such a vital role in my most memorable song. Is there any other way to view the warrior who saves your life time and again? What well, is not really you, because it's not really reincarnation. That much I understand at this point. The Duke of the Cursed Fomorians, Slayer of Pombero and Protector of the Mabinogi. But you may call me brother. I have fought with the lords and ladies of the Court of Enchantments for three seasons. My skills with the blade and in the bed. No, no equal. All right, that answers one of my questions on if these Fey actually have sex, and uh, the one was very um, seductive and had a lot of innuendo, so I it got me to question that, and he just confirmed it. So, good stuff. You dustlings have a similar concept. I believe you call it death, but there is no elegance in your mortality. No poetry. Those of my kind perish, only to have their magic pass on into the great cycle, where it returns in kind, reborn into a world that welcomes such new beginnings. True. I mean, it's the same with mortals, though. Even he called mortals dustlings, so... When dustlings perish, their, uh... their composition, their body returns back to the earth to provide energy to a whole new generation so it's, it's the exact same no need for the bigotry good sir i've always known my place has been among the heroes of the court what other outcome could there be for one so deserving of adoration they are all main settlers from the west searching for a place to plant their flag poor creatures I've never seen such terrible luck. Camped just outside Uduath, right in Bloody Bones' war path. Oh, wow. Better they had cut their own throats. A kinder fate. I did, we did come across them earlier. Let me be truthful with you, Dustling. I've never seen Bloody Bones act so erratically. He cares nothing for the story, as if he craves a different outcome. Instead of spiriting away a young mortal maiden, he took an entire camp. Men, women, children. It's mad, and certainly not part of the tale. And I thought this ballad couldn't get any worse, considering my impending demise. Well, let's get this over with, shall we? Back to work. Okay, we gotta free people. So that... So they're like, uh, hardcore adherence to these, uh, tales. Um, really works against them. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Just the way they run is kind of funny. Alright, um, local. Bloody Bones is over here, so we gotta go probably around. Where's that jump point? This, yeah. So we gotta go around. Bar guest. Some lightning. He's a pretty good teammate. He does a nice amount of damage to uh to even me out. It's 
So I got 70 items thus far. This is the one we gotta take out. Sure. Oh, this one's different. Arcane. Actually, let's make sure to heal the hell up. that one busy I deal with this one Step in the poison, Sir Ferrara. Pestilent brownies. These are fairly strong too. Oh, is Bloody after us? I kind of hope he chases us down. It'll save us a little bit of time. But it doesn't look like we'll be so lucky. It's like we got to meet him up here. Ferrara the Fair, who flounders in the puddles of Uduat. Such a champion should never lose his way, not in his own song. You, new knight, leave now, forsaking the last prisoners, and I will share with you my knowledge. How I came to change things. Stay, and you'll have nothing but corpses.
I want to ask him more questions. I don't want to mess up this uh, persuasion, though. So I think we can a ask these questions without messing this up, though. So let's go ahead and ask. Oh, I don't know who she is. I don't care. What concerns me is power. The power to end this pitiful design. In every song, the summer champion triumphs. His enemy falls. How long has this been the way of Vitelli? This existence. It is not a life. It is not a death. It is a snare in which I have struggled for centuries. No more. They are safe. But while mortals have no cares, they also have no time. I can keep them here in Udua for as long as I wish. Until they are but dust. Gotcha. That's true. My intent was never to do harm. All I want, all I have ever wanted was love. Not to be alone in my eternal grief. Fine. The prisoners are free to go. Yeah, I freed them. But you shall take their place. You shall be Bloody Bone's new desire. Sorry, buddy. I can't have that. Let's get some stuff going. Some bulls will do damage boost. Uh, we'll do strength, regen, and I guess that's good for now. Hold on, I got hit with something already. Oh, so I can't hurt him until I hurt these guys. Get out of here. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's see. I need that. That. Let's do it. Shit. Everything has freaking tracking, man. Look how much everything tracks you. I cannot stand the tracking in this game. I just cannot stand it at all. Everything tracks you. We'll do that one right quick. Let's get some defense going too. Um, he's doing fire. I think we got fire defense. Flame guard, yes, flame guard. I will take that minor healing potion as well. Let's get it the heck out the way. I'm so glad you could just completely pause the fight. I can't use this yet. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Let me just put it up there. Oh, man. Get him, yeah. Get out of here, bloody bones. Well done, Sagron. You have proven yourself worthy of the name. Hallam's trust in you was not misguided. I don't know what to make of Bloody's tale, but it has the ring of truth to it. We must return to Wenson and tell him what we've learned here in Udua. Sure. Robust band. Whoa, that's a lot. That's a lot. Nature's gift. I do like the elemental resistance you get from that, but the extra. Then again, it's only 15 points. I think the elemental resistance is probably ever so slightly better. So I'm going to go ahead and junk this.
Ho. Well, fair enough. Let's go ahead and junk some stuff. I wish junk was separate from the rest of your items, but it makes sense that it's not. You know what? I'm not even going to use staffs anymore for like a long time. Those can go, all scepters can go, all long swords, great swords, hammers. Got a really good pair of those. Bleeding damage, hmm. Harbinger's hand wraps. I think I'm okay on these two. Now we got these, which are strong. And we got these leggings too. I think I'm gonna just keep them for now. Are these better than these? 10%. Um, suppose it is time to upgrade. I did like the 10% mana per second, but I think we're gonna go with these now. Oh no, that can definitely go. Wedding ring, it looks valuable. I don't really know what to do with this. I'll hold on to it for a little bit longer. All right, anyways, we are out of here. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh man, uh, is there anything we don't need? Any consumable we don't need to... Oh, this thing here, but I can't use it. Oh wow, this is a bow, is it better than the one I'm using? It is. I'm actually gonna go ahead and equip this. Yeah, I'm gonna use this. Take that, this one, I like to take it, but I don't got the space. Oh, you were great. I'm going to go ahead and junk you. I'm going to junk this too, I think. Yeah. They're still running? Wow. Hold on, who else is here? These are all the prisoners. Hello. The king has returned to the house of ballads, and this news must not wait. Come, Sagril. Off we go. Hi. Guess they're waiting for me.
You know what? Oh shit. I'm surrounded. I was gonna say, you know what? Um, the best shop to always go to is always gonna be Star Camp. Simply because it's only one loading screen every time, because we, we just teleport right into it. There's no reason to go anywhere else. And Star Camp has the fence you're looking for, too. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier either. Like, Star Camp has everything you could ever really want. And he is asleep. Always open for business when the road is your marketplace. Definitely always open. Just wake up and ready to sell some stuff. 39. Thank you, kind sir. So now I will buy your last two minor regenerations. Uh, experience booster, might as well. Just have that for the heck of it. Right, and next we teleport back to, oh, we gotta go all the way back to the House of Ballots, wow. Now that's a heck of a, heck of a distance from where we were. Look at all these fey folk. It's the two-faced guy. A guy with no backbone of his own. Oh, and they're all here too. Cool. They got something new to say. How can I help you? Nothing new. What about the queen? Your arrival here is a sign of changes in the telling. Our fortunes are linked. Pleasure to meet you too. Wish you well I'm relieved to see you well. What is happening? First Sagal and now bloody bones. These are shocking developments. Listen, Hallam and I have been discussing what transpired in Uduar. You are needed for a very special quest. A song of your very own. You must travel to the home of Tenio also known as the Librarian. It is an important journey, not without its perils. Who is Tenwa? I know little about the Librarian, only that she and Hallam have spent many seasons studying the ebbing tides of magic and how best to preserve our balance. She is an odd creature, quite a <laughs> What? No, I don't like that. <laughs> enjoys the scholarly arts of men with all their brittle, ink-stained quirks. So, that just totally shattered the illusion of these Fey for me. I knew they were kind of, you know, all over the place, but that little gesture there was just, it was just too much. Do not rouse your mortal worry for Hallam. He has left the court seeking answers to our many questions. He will return in time. If someone is corrupting the songs of this great house, Hallam will find them. He is the storyteller, and he knows our ballads better than anyone. Right, it was a little jarring to see, because I thought he was Hallam, but then he wasn't, and it made me question where exactly I was right now. Go to Tenwa's cottage in Haxi. She will be waiting for you. Retrieve a ballad from her collection of Fey cairns. It is called The Hero and the Maid. Bring it to me, and guard it with your life. Its worth cannot be measured. Okay. The library is a collection of special lore stone called Cairns. 
in which are kept the greatest of summer court ballads. As long as they are safe, so too are our songs. The library was not Lord Issa's idea, but the inspiration of Hallam the White. He created the cairns and cast the spell that protects them. Gotcha. The world is changing. Everyone knows it, even if some choose not to accept it. Even as summer court magic weakens, our library of lore will remain strong. So uh, I think these are going to go into that echo stone at his previous location. Her cottage stands in the gap between Yolvan and Haxi, southeast of here. It is an isolated spot, safe. You know, I think we're going to focus on this quest line for now. Uh, well, in terms of the next episode, because we're, we're about to wrap this one up. So Barton has asked me to journey to Castle Yolvin, an ancient fey bastion, and search for whatever means they use to suppress the magic of the webwood. He believes it might be used to protect Canara. Okay, we'll be able to do that along with uh, our faction quests here. Once we get over there, so we'll be doing that next time, if I remember. Uh, for now, we do have something we could turn in, right? Unless I already turned it in. Shoot ring. I guess whatever it was, I already turned it in. Let's meet up with uh, Nerolim right quick. <laughs> now I'm just Sagro. That's funny. Sagro, Lady Sagro. I do like that. I like that the game updates everyone else to um I like that the game uh, updates all the other characters how they uh regard you as far as your quest progression. Like you go from being like dirt beneath their shoes to you get a name and a name of their hero. They consider you uh the same as their Hero, the hero in their um, stories. So we need to go here. Room to mirror. It's probably the easiest way to get there. This was a pretty good one, I would say. I think the um the energy is a bit different. Um. But I do like the focus overall. I was wondering if I would like the focus or if I would like the chaos of the previous way I was doing things. I think I prefer the focus actually. All right, Kyra Nerolum. Oh, I can just go in here. Looks like I see the person I'm supposed to talk to. says few words and even fewer words are spoken of the children of dust you are quite the exception Nirilim would not mention you unless there was some pressing matter of fate you should speak with the wise tree yourself and learn of what has been foreseen I can just talk to the tree chosen by the summer court I serve as one of many tenders to Nirilim occasionally I'm privileged enough to hear the wisdom of the great tree itself Nirilim is wiser than King Tatarian and older than memory itself. Nirilim's words of wisdom carry much weight with the Summer Court. We care for the tree, making sure it grows strong and true. But we are more than just simple gardeners. It is an honor to be one of the chosen who meditate in the shade of Nirilim's wisdom. 
cultivating and bonding with its spirit. That was pretty cool. Now, I am confused as to where I even got this quest from. I thought I got it from the guy under the waterfall, but I don't even know. Whatever quest I got from that guy, I don't even know what happened to it. If this isn't that quest, I don't know what happened to, to it. This thing is reminding me of a uh, Jirak from Dark Cloud. Or uh, Jirak, I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, before I mess something up, go ahead and say, if we got three minutes, I think I can have a conversation in three minutes. Then wrap things up. This tree is intimidating. Never thought I'd say that. Why would you study me? You are something new. And it has been many ages since I have seen a quickling who has learned to be new. New things bring both wonder and danger. Such newness must be nurtured, given fertile ground, and allowed to bloom. And if you are indeed a wondrous new thing, I would allow you to walk in the gardens of Issa, the home of the Summer Fae. Hmm. There we go. So this was the uh, mission I got from the guy under the waterfall, the Fae under the waterfall. Look around you, and I am all that you can see. My roots spread across Dalantarth. My leaves read the winds from Frostbrine Coast to Alabastra. My family and I circle this world. We were saplings when your kind emerged from the dark. And we will grow with you until this world burns once again. Fair enough. May I enter Issa? Many seek to enter the last bastion of the Fey, but in these times, few quicklings are worthy. The time of the Fey is passing. I must shelter them in their twilight and protect them from the corruption that spreads in their kin to the east. True. What is Prismere? Prismere is a crystal, powerful and prized by your kind. With it, what you call magic becomes even more potent. Look at that. Prismere is dangerous to the Fae. It fuels Gadflow's madness as well as his army's bloodlust and power. Issa and the Summer Fae have been spared its touch. For now. Yeah, look at that um, creature in the background. That's pretty cool. I can't tell if it's, uh, I think it's something new. It's not a brownie and it's not a um, boggart, I don't think. While the summer fay of Issa fade, their winter cousins are burning in a sea of fire. They are not content to pass peacefully. They will take all with them. Issa's end has always been certain, buried beneath their prismere blades. I can only hold back the tide, but you, perhaps you can change the currents. Where you tread, you mark all you touch. Before I would help you, I must know, will you be a kind gardener or a careless reaper? I love the metaphors. What do you require? I can change Issa's fate. 
change Jesus' fate. Yes, but will it be for the better? I cannot stop you from trying, but perhaps I can guide your efforts. A tribe of trolls has been corrupted with Prismir. Their matriarch, Nash, has united the clans in the first step on the path of Dalantarth's demise. You can change this fate, but to what? In doing so, you may awaken a more dangerous threat, like your ally, Aelin Shear. Mm. What's up with her? Uh, yeah, let me know what you know about her, bro. She walks a dark and tangled path. A path you once walked together before you died. Oh, snap. But your path is your own now. Defeat Nash, remove the taint of Prismir. Then I shall see who you are, if not who you will become. I'm feeling like my character is like Revan from Kotor, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I'm feeling like we were once evil uh, or just really bad. And um, I feel like our character was once in Alin is now allied with the Tuatha and with Gadflow somehow. So I, I'm intrigued as to where this is going. I'm going to ask him some questions about it. And I guess we are going to go a little bit over the uh, three hour time. Hopefully not too much over. The last great phase city. At once the birth of their dream, the throne of their great realm and the deathbed of their kind. In thanks to High King Titarian, my bows stand vigil over their city in their twilight. Only by my leave may visitors see them in their weakness. To creatures of flesh like yourself, Prismir is a powerful tool to harness magic. But to creatures of pure magic, like to Arthur or trolls, Prismir is so much more. To them, it is a curse, a blessing, and a rapture all in one. It drives them and consumes them. And to the weak willed, it corrupts them utterly. That's interesting. I didn't know the trolls were made out of. Uh were completely uh, magic based beings. I am as world trees have ever been since the dawn of time. I watch, I understand, and I remember. This uh Nerilim is he's added a lot of gravitas to the game. Um his uh his character overall is giving me very strong vibes of the elder guy from uh legacy of kane specifically from the soul reaver and defiance games um really good voice acting too and he just has the the presence of a uh pre-eternal being the troll matriarch prismir has corrupted her making her cruel cunning and far more ambitious than her brethren she bears the marks of the Tuatha, and she shares their murderous intent. Hmm. The marks of the Tuatha. The fates of quicklings are very simple. Growing, consuming, expanding, dying, and always rushing predictably along your paths. You are unique among them. You decide your own direction. But does that mean you will choose anything different? All right. Like the sun in the sky, they knew me when I was a sapling, and they will know me when I rot. But they will never know change, nor how to save themselves from their patterns. They tend to embrace their patterns. Only one Fae has ever truly changed, and he now leads an army to destroy your kind. And why is that? Why is that? 
Aelin Shear is a mystery and a simplicity. She is focused in a way few quicklings are. Her dedication is true, but I do not know the cause. Together you have walked dark paths beneath my boughs. You knew one another before your death, or thought you knew each other. Man, you thought you'd have more than that, Nerilim, being a watcher and all. The troll matriarch and her brood await at Haxi. Their corruption burns my roots and threatens our future. All right, quicklings. I can no longer ignore the quicklings like your kind who rush through the world. Ever anxious, ever eager, ever evolving, but never changing. Hold on. Fools who hack at my roots and burn. And sometimes sages who hang from my branches and learn. All right. So we have quite a bit to do in the next episode and uh, forgive the sound of my heat on in the background. It's uh, I guess it's gotten so cold finally that it's kicked on. Uh, I normally turn my uh, turn my uh, heat all the way down. So if it's if it's cutting on, that means it's super cold in here. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, yeah, this was this was great. This was great. I'm glad I played it for three hours today because uh, we accomplished quite a bit. Um, I like the flow now that we're sticking to uh, main quest and to uh, what are these called like faction quests yeah main quest and faction quest so I prefer this um, so yeah we'll continue this path going forward um, hope you guys did enjoy this episode let me know what you guys think again um, let me know what you guys let me know if you guys like the longer episodes um, if you like them how they are now at the two hour mark if you like this uh, three hour episodes that I'm doing for this episode and last episode, or if you prefer something uh, shorter, which one hour isn't short, but uh, compared to the, these episodes that I've been doing, um, if you prefer the one hour, let me know. So yeah, hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and your loved ones. Um, I won't be catching you guys for the holidays. I might, I might have the episode for you guys on the holidays, actually. I'll probably post um, episode number eight on Christmas, I think um just just for the hell of it why not so i hope you guys uh are enjoying the holidays uh with your loved ones or solo if if you're not celebrating with your loved ones so i hope you guys are um just just having a good time and not stressing out too much so uh yeah definitely take care guys um but yeah till next time peace